The fear of regret is one of the most powerful tools at your disposal to help you get into action mode. <laughs> Let me explain. Whatever you want to do, whatever your goals are, your, your mission, your mission, your dreams, whatever you want to do, if it's big enough, it's going to have some fear attached to it, right? You don't want to just do the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. So therefore, your dreams, your ambitions, your drive require you to do things that are scary, that are new, that are different, that are pushing you outside your comfort zone. And our natural reaction is we don't want to do those things. Right? In theory, we do when we feel bold and confident, we do. When you watch a video like this, you get inspired and motivated, like, yes, I'm going to go do it. And then when it comes time to actually doing it, you find a reason why you can't do it. Right? Too tired, I'll do it tomorrow. There's always some logical reason why you can't do it. Meanwhile, it's just fear. Understand that under, underneath your excuses, your reasons are just fear. It's just fear. You're afraid of doing a thing. You're afraid of being judged. You're afraid of who will see it. You're afraid of who won't see it. <laughs> You're afraid of nobody seeing it. You're just afraid. You're afraid. And getting to your dreams require you to step through that fear. And the future regret, the fear of future regret is so powerful because it can knock you out of the immediate fear of doing the thing. So let me break it down. If you had to make a video, you're gonna make a video. You know, I'm, I'm making a video right now, right? If, if I was afraid of making this video, I'm afraid of making this video, I'm afraid of, I'm gonna have the wrong words, I'm afraid that Nina is gonna judge me for the words that I'm saying. <laughs> I'm afraid that my dogs are not gonna be happy with me, whatever. You know, afraid of, of what, what that guy thinks for, for me with, with my phone, right? You're, you're afraid, all these things come through our, our, our head of what we're afraid, we're afraid of. And by the way, Nina's very supportive as always. We love you, Nina. Anyway, you're afraid. So if you're afraid of making a video, great. The fear, the present fear is very real. It feels, it feels big, right? Let's call it, let's put it on a fear score. The fear of actually making that video is a 50, okay? It's a score of 50. That's how much af afraid we are to do it. It's a 50. The fear of the regret of not doing it, in the moment it's not very big. Maybe it's a one, right? It's just a one, it's a one. The, the, the idea that, okay, I might regret this one day, whatever, it's a, it's a one. But the problem is, the 50 is just for today. That little fear of, of, well, it's a big fear, but in the moment of doing the one thing, say it's a 50, it's just today. The regret compounds. So it's, it's, it's one today and it's one tomorrow and it's one the next day, it's one the next day, it's one the next day. It actually ends up being a million, right? It ends up being huge. The fear of inaction becomes huge but we don't feel it on a day-to-day -day basis because it's too small compared to the present fear of doing the thing. So what you have to do, and this is the, this is the hack to get out of procrastination, bless you Nina, this is the hack to get into action mode, this is the hack to actually start chasing your dreams down, believe nation, come on, let's go, is to make the fear so big of regret that you're gonna miss out that, that this video that you're about to make today is going to be the video that is life altering, life changing, life redefining for you. This one thing that you're about to do is gonna be the greatest moment of your life. So you make that pain so big that now it becomes a million versus the 50, right? So then it's not as, as scary to go do the thing because there's a bigger fear. You're basically inflicting a future pain so big on you that the present pain doesn't feel as big. It's when you have a hangnail, right? When you have a hangnail, it hurts. It's like, it's so annoying, you got this hangnail. So it's like, ah, oh, stupid hangnail. But then if somebody punched you in the arm, you wouldn't feel the hangnail anymore because the, the arm hurts so much, right? That's essentially what you want to do to yourself. <laughs> it sounds like I'm a masochist. But that's what you want to do to yourself. This little pain that you've got of making a video, making a phone call, doing the action, whatever it is, it's like a little hangnail. And what you have to do is punch yourself in the arm with the fear of all that future regret from you not doing it. I used to do this all the time. I mean, I'm, I'm introverted, scared, afraid of, of a lot of things. I'm afraid of disappointing people. It used to really hold me back. It used to really prevent me from you know, taking the action I need to take. It used to really hold me back. So I use this constantly, that this thing that I'm about to do 
is gonna be the thing that sets my career on fire. This one thing, and if I don't do it, I'm gonna be 120 years old, in my rocking chair, in, in an old age home, looking back on my life at this moment, today, right now, this moment, and wish that I had had more courage, and wish that I had stepped up, and wish that I was more bold. That's what I would tell myself. And then that would give me the strength to go do the thing. And then I would go do the thing. <laughs> it makes a big, big difference. And so understand that whatever goals, ambitions, dreams that you have for yourself, they're, they're noble and they're worthy and they should be chased down. And you're, you're trying to build a, build a better life for yourself and your family and the people around you. And your purpose comes from your pain. And you're trying to show all the people who are, who are currently struggling with the thing that you struggled with that it is possible, that there is hope. Achieving your mission is going to require you to get stronger. And this is the, the loop that we constantly fall back into and in that when the moment comes for you to step up, it's easy to find a way to back down. When the moment comes for you to step up, it's easy to find a way to back down. And the people around you probably aren't holding you accountable. You're probably already the most ambitious person that you know. They're looking at you as inspiration for what's possible as opposed to saying you should be doing more. When you say, oh, I'm not gonna do this today, they're probably giving you a hug or, or, you know, or even a see I told you. There aren't many people around us who push us forward in a loving way to say, no, you said you were gonna do it, go do it. You're on a mission. I'm not letting you off the hook today. You have to go do it. You said you were gonna do this thing. This is too important for you to play small. Do you have those people in your life? If you do, cherish them, hug them, hold them, keep them around as, as much as possible because you need them. And if you don't, you got this, you got me, you got Espressos, you got this channel, you know, and, and you got books and resources. And, you know, the more you're around it, the more to remind you to go do it. But the motivation alone isn't enough. It's actually taking the action and it's scary. And as much as you can talk yourself up into it, it doesn't matter until you actually go and do the thing. So use that fear of regret to get that little boost of courage that you need to go do the thing. That when you're right up against the wall, you said you were gonna do the thing. You said you're gonna make that video. You said you're gonna make that phone call. And then you're here, you're in that moment. You're in that moment, you're about to do it. And everything inside you is saying, run. I'm afraid. I can't do this anymore. Everything inside you is telling you to shut off the camera, to hang up the phone, to not do that thing, right? Because you're afraid. You say, no, if I do not do this thing today, right now, I'm gonna regret it my entire life. And I'm tired of showing myself that I say I'm gonna do something and then I don't show up. I'm tired of showing myself that I'm saying I'm gonna do something and then I play small. Today I change because I don't wanna be 120 years old looking back on my life, wishing that back here, back now, right now, today, wishing that I played a bigger game. If you want another Evan Rant video that just might give you the confidence you need, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there. You wanna swim forever. Adopt the mindset that you want to swim forever. Most people, if you're thinking about swimming, you're swimming to reach the island, right? If you're swimming out in the ocean, you're swimming to reach the island.